My name is Kara Gurry and my mural is called Intersect. So my mural is a portrait that has a butterfly over top of the face and it really ties into my practice as an artist which is all about concealed portraiture. So I'm interested in creating portraits that are um, hiding something from the viewer um, but in the process something else is getting highlighted as well. All of my work is really about kind of taking a face and then disrupting the hierarchy of the features. So uh, usually we connect very strongly with eyes and um, that's sort of what we visually want to see in a face. Um, so most of my work kind of operates with concealing that in some way to emphasize something else. Um, so in this particular case, it was really just kind of playing with different elements um, and kind of trying to create a piece that, that was both aesthetic but also still kind of played with that concept. And I wanted to create an image that was surreal and would kind of have a little bit of an imaginative experience um, that would integrate into people's daily routines in a way that might transport them somewhere that they wouldn't otherwise have, have kind of gone in, in their imaginations during their daily experience. There were some unique challenges with this wall. So there's actually a pipe in the middle of it. I, I'm used to having a lot more control over the surface. So in my paintings, I'll spend a very long time sanding down the surfaces and making them really, really perfect and pristine. Um, here I was dealing with a cinder block wall um, with a pipe coming out of it and wires. So it was a much more um, a surface that had a lot of character coming into the, the process that I had to kind of integrate into the design. And I was looking for a design that would kind of integrate that into the imagery in a way that would be seamlessly sort of put together. And um, because it sort of read like a pin, it conjured the idea of the butterfly and that's kind of how the initial idea took shape. Um, aside from that, it's, it was mainly just textural things. So learning to paint on a very textured surface and trying to get really straight lines throughout the cinder blocks and that kind of thing, as well as just making sure that the um, wires didn't disturb the design. So one of the reasons I went with a gradient background was because I didn't have to paint around the wires up top. So I was able to still do um, some a splash of color on the base without having to box out a section at the top that would sort of look a little awkward. <laughs> I really enjoy people having their own subjective interpretation. So from whatever sort of path in life that they have, I don't like to in enforce a meaning on them or impose that. I like them to bring um, their own experiences and for it to hopefully relate to them in some way or even if it's just something that's a, a little bit of like a splash of color in the day or, or something that's sort of a little bit exciting visually beyond what their normal experience would be, that's fine. Um, it would obviously be nice if, if people would kind of sit with it too and, and look at it more closely, but I think in whatever capacity people kind of experience it, uh, it just excites me that they will have that sort of interaction that wasn't there before.